I think he's still muted. That would be me, not muted. Is getting proper provisions for this journey. As did I. Hello, Mr. Maze. How is our qualita? Can uh, everybody else hear me now? Got a hate.exe in chat. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Loud and clear. Leave Charlie. Let me just. Uh twiddle some audio settings so that nobody's eardrums are getting blown out because we don't want yes, that we. to happen. We don't want people yes, to go we. deaf. They, we want us to be we want them to be able to uh, enjoy the stream. We we want to bring them the eventual explosions that will happen later in this stream, but we oh, don't yes. want them yes. to destroy their eardrums. Yeah. Boom. Oh, we've got a Gordon. He returns. Ah, a wild Gordon has appeared. How are you doing? Yeah, it was just putting out the recycling and all that nonsense, because tomorrow's Monday, and that's when they do collect garbage collection and all that in the area. Okay, we do a garbage collection around here on Monday, on uh, Fridays. So, okay, yeah. so as you can see, I got some improved torpedoes with improved pistols, so that way uh, torpedo go boom more often, and I also gave my uh, torpedo mechanic a perk that allows him to do more damage when he's at his command station. Mm, oh, so you took Sapper? Yeah, I did take Sapper. So, uh, let's get some more bacon, and let's get some more canned bread, and some more tinned beef. Because tinned beef is good for you, and so is canned bread. Mm. I see you double up on your spares and stuff like that. I just take one set of each. I did notice that you can uh, board ships, and sometimes you might find a ship that's got gold on it. Oh, I didn't know that you could find gold, but I do board... If I do... F <sighs> my standard policy for... Uh, if I do find a lone merchantman at night is to uh, surface, board it. I have a couple of officers with the navigator perk, so I'm more likely to find ships that are not that are not, you know, they're doing what they shouldn't be doing, so that way I can sink them under prize rules. And I can count on yep. one hand the number of times I've actually sunk a true neutral ship. I think my running tally for uh, international incidents is three. I have only done Those it are rookie one. numbers. You need to bump those up. <laughs> I, but, I personally have only done it once. But uh, I always give the guys... If I can't take them aboard, I give them supplies because I may be an asshole, but I'm not a complete asshole. Hmm. It's a it's a matter of professional courtesy, if you will. I mean, and they did that early war for for quite a bit. They tried to be as civil as they could. They would even tow survivors in in, in their lifeboats and everything to certain spots. But wasn't it there did an incident with the U.S. Air Force or something while they were in the middle of rescuing survivors, which resulted in most of those survivors and a good chunk of the U-boat personnel just getting deleted. More than once, and, and it wasn't just with the U.S. Air Force and stuff like that. I mean, that happened with the, the the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. There were different cases where that, that sort of thing happened. And to yet, when they switched to I, other forms of submarine warfare because they kept on getting killed when trying to do their due diligence, everyone started crying wolf because 
Oh. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to shoot the people saving your own guys, you dipshits. Yeah, well, there was, there was one case where somebody basically, he got on open comms and was like, hey, this is such and such on such and such U-boat. I've got survivors from this civilian ship that I just hit. You should probably come and grab them. And that was that was by like the mid-war. And that was after that, Durnitz put his foot down and was like, hey, no more towing survivors because you guys are putting yourselves at way too much risk. Also, why this cinnamon toast fuck would you ever get on an open channel to the allies and tell them where the fuck you are what why don't do that so he put his foot down about that and subsequently they they kind of stopped doing the whole rescue thing and i hope the game actually takes that into effect later on that it, it takes might. away yeah I, I, I would assume so for as much historical Accuracy. research as these guys have done yeah and uh, i installed the mod that has uh, accurate emblems so U96, in addition to the Laughing Sawfish on both sides of the Conning Tower, it also has the Raging Bull of the 7th Flotilla, which is when... Uh. Which is what she displayed at the time of the author writing Das Boot. Mm. And it was das also, is Boot! Yeah, it's, uh, it was called the Oak Leaves Patrol, is when she uh, did that. And uh, the majority of and all of my officers now have the uh, submarine combat badge. And if you look at uh, Herr Kapitän Denker, I have a few. I have a collection of U-boat puns I could start running through. Yeah, I've got the uh, Iron Cross second and first class, I believe. I also have the German Cross in gold and the. Uh, you boat war badge. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, bold. Uh, what do you call a German U boat station in Crete? I have no idea. A Crete Marine. A Crete Marine. Oh, Gordon. <laughs> eh? <laughs> that is. What do you call a dog on a U boat? A subwoofer. <sighs> My God! I can keep going. I got, I got two more. Well, if you need a whole, if you need a cheese, if you need a list of cheese puns, I have already got a whole list of them. Oh my God! <laughs> Fringe, please do, says Fez. Yes, the USS Barb was the best submarine because it sunk a train. Yes. Also, uh, I'm reading a book about the uh, USS Wahoo, and uh, Mush Wahoo! Morton was uh, Mush Morton. His uh, his command. It, it they uh, they had that torpedo the TDC down to a science, and they also had a good system where they it would be like uh, they had a really good coordination system, and it led to them being a very uh, successful U-boat. And one thing was uh. After the first patrol, after the change of command from uh, their timid former captain to uh, Mush Morton, instead of displaying, you know, like the flags of the ships they sank, they put a broom on their uh, periscope mast to indicate a clean sweep. <laughs> the only films I've seen at cinema are Das Boot, The Hunt for an October, and U571. I only go for subtitles. Oh. That is, that is diabolical. What Reading about the are submarines? Deep Navy! All right, so we got a comment that says, Reading about the Western Tactical Approaches Group is, I forget the word, mortifyingly fascinating how the Germans turned submarine combat into a science and how the Allies took it apart and how the whole Star of Britain thing worked in the First and Second World War. Yeah, to a degree it did. Well, Paris and to be honest, historically, for a bit, there was a time where, in theory, could have worked. Yep. Well, especially kind of. if, especially oh. if a lot of material would have went to not ships that got sunk within five days of being sent out or something like that, you know? Yeah, if it wasn't for the invention of the Liberty ships, which actually, as someone who's going to culture being a welder, I could have entire rants about the... Uh, like the science developments behind welding that occurred because of those ships, 
Yeah. Oh, that's the Liberty Chip was a very brutal solution to a very simple problem. How do we get a bunch of supplies to Ameri from America to the UK if stuff keeps getting sunk? Just build. Well, the yeah, Liberty build them faster and cheaper than the ships sinking them. Alpha November yep. two seven four. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not going to bother with that. We need as many torpedoes as we can. Yeah, I tend to not bother with a lot of the well, if secondary it's like, stuff that you get. I did have to well, bother with one of them because it was like carrying prototype stuff. So it's like, yeah, that's a high priority target. <sighs> sink that. Yeah, sometimes I've only. Point. There's been one case where I'm like, yeah, I've already fired off all my shit. By the time I go resupply and get back, there's no way we catch up to that thing. So there's been a couple times where I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. But yes, uh, as you pointed out, yeah, that's part of what led to the Enigma code being broken. Like just looking at what uh, Battle Maker is talking about, because of the fact that they always ended their transmissions the same way. That is the primary thing that led to the Enigma codes being broken after and... Alan Turing made the made the, for some of the first computers. Yeah, Alan Turing, he was a, he was a genius. He was a genius, but it's sad what the uh, governmental attitude was to people of certain persuasions at the time. And, yeah, no, we don't want to get too chumba on. Yeah, story. that's why I was just leaving it there. Yeah. Research it on your own time. We're not talking about that here. We're talking about U-boats. And now we're how we're gonna sink the British home fleet. Good luck with that. Well, that's why yeah. I'm gonna raid at night. And I'm kind of porpoising every so often to fifty depth of fifty meters for hydrophones to see if there's anything, you know, patrolling the vicinity. I found that button is extremely unreliable. Your best bet is to just manually drop to a certain depth or just go to like 30 meters or even periscope depth just put them on there and wait more than the five minutes that it ticks over sometimes it's good to let them go for a good like 15 20 minutes to a half an hour yeah i think uh as soon as i get close to like right about here is when i'm gonna go into uh blue light and battle stations shit you can blue creep all light. the way the hell does that creep you can creep all the way up to that dot on the surface yet before you really got to worry about it. Unless there's stuff that's actually going to be traveling through past the main approach. But I've been able to get right up past the submarine nets and fucking slip right in there. So uh, how reliable would you say that these uh, M these uh, indicators are? Fairly reliable? They're always right there. They're always right there. That's actually the line, and yet about where you've got your mark is where you want to travel through, because it'll, even on the surface, it'll, for some reason, you'll bump into them, but if you get right smack in the in the center, you should be able to go right over top of them, no problem. And then we'll go to periscope depth, blue light, battle stations. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, you're going to have to creep up for a good, like, I don't know, hour and a half before you get in range of the yeah, Royal I'm Oak. Gonna, gonna, is, is, I'm just going to go at we are currently at standard four. I'm going to slow to standard three. Yeah, standard three is your main actual good speed. If you're over that... Um, well, you can't go over that because if you have two crewmen assigned to help your yes, chief engineer, yeah. you can make your diesels run super efficiently. Same with your electric. The problem with that is you're going to be um, picking up or kicking off a lot more volume. Yeah, that's one of the like, biggest things when it comes to submarine stealth is just limiting how much sound you're giving off. You turn off your uh, drive planes, make those be manual, switch your gyro compass off, you'll be surprised how much less they can hear you. Yeah, I'm going to gonna rig for that now. So uh, dive planes to manual. Dive, dive, dive! And off gyro compass, so that way I don't even have to think about it. Good call. All right. As soon um, as we close the, as soon as we uh, thread the nets, we are going to. Okay, I'm gonna time compression times twelve, so I'm not like. It moves faster, but I'm not completely caught with my pants down. I think we're good. Mm, favorite submarine class. I mean, I, I like, 
honestly the Type 7 Cs and the Gatos because... I would say my... If we're, what time period are we talking about? Because if we're talking, we're talking modern submarine? The, the American Revolution all the way up to now. What was that prototype submarine, which is basically just a fucking barrel? That was the turtle. That was the turtle. If we're, if we're talking early submarines, that's one of my favorite. If we're talking modern submarines, the Gotland class submarine of the Swedish Navy is my personal favorite. Because it's a very interesting engine. How interesting are we talking? Is it a diesel um, electric or a nuclear? Neither, technically. Okay. Oh, is it like one of those hydro... Is it one of those crawl drives? The fuck's a crawl drive? You know, where it uses uh, electromagnetism to pull water through it to... Where no. It's moving parts We're and talking, like, the main power plant, it uses what's referred to as a Stirling engine. A hot air engine? Heat. Yeah, it relies on heat differential, and apparently, from what research I've been able to do, it was able to get into the middle of a U.S. task force during a war game and sink a carrier. Because it was that quiet. Interesting. All right, blue light. What does going blue light on a U-boat like this actually mean? Blue light means uh, noise running. minus 75, oxygen usage minus 15. You're silent running. Yeah. You're basically, yep. you're spinning at about 50 RPMs. You're going. I don't very think slow, any very quiet submarines utilize a caterpillar drive. I don't even think that's an actual drive system that it exists. It does exist. It's only in the prototype phase, though. They haven't been able to uh... produce enough thrust for it to be worthwhile for the amount of energy you need to dump into it. Yep. I think now is about the time I should probably start. Thinking about diving because I'm clear yeah, of the nets. A couple minutes, but yeah. One minute. Let's see, hard to tell what time it is. Two minutes. Dun, dun, da, da, dun. Dun, 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 Three minutes. I'd be tempted to start playing. Dive. I'd be tempted to start playing the Das Boot theme song or similar over the mic, but we'd get copyright struck immediately. I think there's a time limit before you get copyrighted. From what I've heard, it's like thirty seconds or so at most. I did ten. But. Yeah, again, it depends on who you ask, how modern it is, is it owned by a like, big record label, etc. Because some are very aggressive about it. Well, we can credit the uh, the video f that the audio was from. Yeah. I'll, uh, so I'm gonna, when we get close to, uh, hang on. Why are you not on the hydrophone? That is your main duty. Um, click on him. Um, I just did. I did the t quick command, and we've got a propeller yeah, noise. Yeah, click on him. Click on him specifically real quick. See how he's set, uh, radio officer? Click on that little menu real quick. In the very corner. Nope. Uh, the very far left corner. When you've uh, got all the little heads popped up. So you want to pull back from him real quick. Yeah. Click on his icon. Like his head icon, not the, not the, not the button. Hello? That one. There you go. Click on that. Okay, so in the very far left corner, see how it says radio officer? Click on that. Very bottom. This one? Or this one? Nope, the very bottom in the left corner, where his name is. Very far left corner. Under all your little icons at right the far here. left of the screen. No. Very far left of the screen, in the corner of the oh, screen. Yep. Where it says radio officer. There you go. Click on that. You can set him to technician officer, so he'll prefer to jump on to the listening post instead of the radio. Okay. Yeah, but he's usually... Yep, so from now on, he'll out was he had sensitive hearing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's going to prefer to be the technician officer, which means he's going to always favor the listening post, which is what you set him up for. 
um, when he's set to radio officer, he'll prefer to go to the radio for listening on the radio. And then if he's a technician officer, he'll prefer to go to the actual listening array. I, yep. I gave him the, uh, the ability to identify uh, ships by the type of propeller noises they make. Yep, that is very handy. I like having uh, two listeners, two mechanics, and then three uh, leaders. That's right. my current I'm setup. I'm going to slow us down to forward one. Mm -hmm. Because I think we did enough... Uh... Hydrophones didn't actually have that much range. This is a bit ridiculous. Assuming the map is to scale. I don't think they suspect a thing. They do not suspect a thing. Somebody start the clock. We'll see how long it takes for him to die. Because <laughs> he said the cursed phrase. I do not think they suspect a thing. Well, get getting it. in is one thing. Firing your torpedoes is another thing. But and then escaping, getting out afterwards. Yeah, escaping once you've kicked the hornet's nest is a whole fucking process. That's, that's what makes animal. that's what makes this level so much fun. You can get in all day, but yeah, have fun getting out. Come on, maintain your damn torpedo. Oh, what are you? Are you are you um, are you under likely? Is it under drive? Is the question. It is not under drive. Which means your uh, listening officer won't be able to. Uh, assist with your torpedo course if he's not kicking up any sound there's nothing to track okay but yeah Vulcan you said you wanted to know how to expand the TDC well right here is your friend see oh yeah it's so incredibly small on my and laptop also, that I can't uh, get you it you can also do it from the left corner just basically if you see until you see this icon in the corner mm. ooh. gotcha ooh, 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 ooh. Well, if I turn mods on, it'll break my file, or if I get, like, updates to them, it gets really weird. So I'm not turning any mods on on top the of my Eye file Brights. right now. What the heck is that kind of name? And of course, I have no frame of reference because it's night and it's dark. Go to red. What do you mean, go to red? Red light? Yeah. It'll brighten your screen up as well as give you extra sighting to, or sight distance. If you're only maintaining a course of, you know, just speed one, you should be fine. A lot of these guys aren't even going to be listening for a sub coming into the pen right now. It's, at this point in the war, who would be ballsy enough? But real life, this actually long already happened. My my torpedo man's an idiot because he's not keeping the tubes clean. Um, all your stuff is preheated. I'm not even using. Oh. That's what the red. That's what the red means is that they're preheated. Oh shit! I don't even want those torpedoes. I want the ones that are compatible with the TDC. Well, if you're carrying a full load already, there's no way to pull them out and switch them. Which I hate that about this game. But it I guess is, that kind of makes sense. I guess that kind of makes sense. And it if does like make you're sense, completely, like, if you're if you're loaded to the gills and you want to yeah, switch them the, out, these where are, the are you going to put them? But it's like these are the ones that I yeah. wanted. But I've got these pieces of crap in the tubes already. Mm. <sighs> I okay. So um, all their maker is saying he's uh, he can't get the world map in, in cold water. So. U-Boat's the only sub game I've really played that in like the Silent Hunter series. So dialing back to like favorite class of submarines and stuff like that, I'm more so of like a World War II era kind of guy personally. More so my knowledge of like more contemporary stuff is extremely limited. But like in my opinion, just the heyday of submarines was World War II. Granted, obviously they could do a lot more cool shit this, these days. You got stuff that can sit underwater for 20 years and never need to come up. <laughs> Save for the little humans inside. I'm gonna see... Okay. 
I know the area is going to be mostly ringed with destroyers. There should be at least two, maybe three cruisers, and then there's the Royal Oak. Because I know historically, uh, Gunther Price, when they did this this actual run, they snuck past a cruiser and actually did a practice, a tag volley on it, and then crept in on the Royal Oak. I want to see if I can actually... Uh... I don't dare risk turning on my ventilation because that's going to make noise. Well, and if you don't have scrubbers yet, it's completely pointless to do so. Without the uh, the filters or oh, the man. filter scrubbers or whatever, oh, it's man. it's I found I found it's redundant to even turn that thing on until you oh, got scrubber. Shit. Oh, here it comes. Oh man. Here it comes. Oh shit! Here it comes. Getting depth charged. You should speed up. Your sub. If I go faster, change What's your course. My... Your depth in this area is going to be nothing more than 30 to like 25 to 30 meters. Like you can hardly fucking get anywhere. That's that's the fun of this map or this part of it. One trick is to just go completely stop, drop to the very bottom, and just lay on the seabed. Yep, we're just gonna. Well, we haven't been hit yet, but I'm gonna stop and just drop. Just take us down all the way. <laughs> oh shit! That's a lot of boats. You've taken some damage. Yeah, it just takes. Well, we have enough spares, so... We are leaking. Oh, shit. You're right. Now, pop out of the map mode real quick and see what inside your sub. Yeah, in a way, playing dead is a way to do it. Um, sink to the very bottom, but... If... Part of the way, um... The ASDEC of the sonar system works is if you're laying on the seabed, they're gonna be a lot less likely to get a ping um, off your sub if you're laying completely on the floor. I apologize, I forgot to show up on time. Oh, Wacker, you're here. You made it. Oh, hello. I am here to watch you not submerge while approaching convoys. Well, he is completely submerged and sitting on the bottom because I told him to, but he is unfortunately leaking and... He's hunting a battleship inside one of Britain's biggest naval yards. Yep, Scapa Flow. Yep. Oh, good. Great. I'm sure this will go well. <laughs> well, we're already off to a good start. We've got damage to uh, some torpedo tubes, and we've sprung a leak. Um, what do you mean you've sprung a leak? We're growing vegetables in the submarine. Well, he had some some uh, Vasa bombing <laughs> dropped on him, and now unfortunately he is leaking because of it. I, is it being repaired? Should be. Yep. Looks like your main dude is. Uh, Bunk, what resolution are you playing at, and what are you streaming at? Um, I'm playing, I don't know, I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm trying to stream it at, uh, shit, settings, Th this what, please Ooh. tell me that the leak has stopped. Um, no. You're streaming at about 10 FPS, so I'm going to suggest you pause for a moment. No, he seems to be streaming at higher than 10 FPS on my end, more like 30. Uh, it's pretty chunky. 
You run smooth on my end. Yeah, it's smooth on mine. When he transitions between the compartments, it's like uh Yeah, I get that too. It takes a second, yeah, that, but that's that's U boat. It, it's a bit That's change. just the engine at that point. It, it's there a isn't much you can do. Um yeah, uh <laughs> um You might want to start getting those guys to funnel that water via buckets to the control room and from the control room into your bilge and from your bilge I, outside. I yeah. I, I, we're 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 gonna save Scummit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's okay. I'll only think slightly less of you for this. <laughs> because it's like don't worry. Uh, I save Scum the fuck out of this game, so don't feel bad. <laughs> I save Scum everything I do, so who cares? Yeah, no. Right. It's, it's play like, the play the way you want, man. Yep. Seriously. I, I have save scummed Stellaris like so many times. There's been a time where, oh crap, I accidentally started a war and I was ca caught completely off guard. Yeah, I uh, I'll occasionally run a war as a quote unquote simulation. I I will save before I start all that, and if I can fight it and win it, then we'll roll with it. But if it's just nope. We are definitely in a strategically untenable situation. Then, this was all a training simulation. <laughs> you know, Reload. I, you you know what I named my uh, faction first, Alaris, my human faction. That's slightly xenophilic, so that way I I can always just you know stab him in the back later. You're gonna love this. The Terran hegemony. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. I actually have a Terran Hegemony uh, playthrough going right now as well. I think it's it's pretty standard of us BattleTech fans to uh, incorporate little things, you know. Yeah, I also uh, tried the uh, the new Roman Empire in the Barriaran Empire because uh, Lois McMaster Bujold. Nice. I'm gonna see if I can rib my tubes of these stupid G7As because it's like I need the Torpedus data computer to sync up with the. Uh, no, I can't. Not unless you're going to drop some of your torps now, and then reload, which... Okay, so how do I do that? Because it's like, you can swap that. So, you would have to get rid of the ones in your actual storage via the merchant first, and then Buy unload back. them. Mm -hmm. But you also have to individually unload every single one of them, too, so it's going to yep. take some micro. Torpedoes. I actually just got the third tier of torpedoes today. You should probably switch to normal lighting while you're at port. Yeah, here's the downside. Oh, we can. That's right. I was going to say, <laughs> I've been doing it where you have to go and individually do each one by themselves. I forget you can do the multiple order. What do you need, Kaloy? Look at So they're moving those. Let me just speed it up so that way I have empty stowage. I'm just hoping they don't automatically start reloading them the moment they get them unloaded. Yeah. I'm not too surprised. I fucking hate that about the mechanic is he will automatically start doing that. I had that with um, mines earlier because I was doing all my mine laying missions. The moment I would pull them out to try and sell them off, just load them right back up. Like, Motherfucker, stop it! I, I, I don't want those mines anymore. It's like, for the love of God, please. Don't do that. Don't. We, uh. How about now? There we go. 
てる。Okay. Just make sure while you're down wait, the periscope. Wait, 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 wait. It, 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 they're, they're, they're reloading them. They, they are reloading them. I, I do not want this. I, I refuse. Let me just. Quick, okay, so. Let me just quick sell them before they can do anything. I'll turn it off, um, super speed, and then tell them to stop working the uh, mechanic roll once you get it fucking unloaded. Oh, those are the ones that I did. Of course, the generic German's name is Hans. Does he have a Flammenwerfer? He, no, but he that has depends. to go. Your default captain's name is just Klaus. Klaus, yep. Klaus oh, Graf! Those were T1s, which I did want, so... T1s are the good torpedoes because they're compatible with the TDC. The World War II generic name was Jerry. <laughs> that was if you're an American referring to the Germans, not the generic, just... Right. If you ask a random German what his name was, what he'd say. Uh, Franz. Yeah, I just skipped seven hours, so that way we can see what we have. Let's see what we have loaded in our tubes. Das boot. On the subject of Fritz, what about his ex-wife, Fritz X? No way, that's a wire-guided missile, not a torpedo. Yeah, it, no, it's yeah, it's a smart bomb. Not smart. I think it was wire-guided or radio-controlled. I think it was, was... radio-guided. Yeah. Manually radio-guided. So huh. it was it, it's like an aerial tow. Kinda. Yeah, they apparently were surprisingly effective, but the thing is, about the Germans knowing, those things were at first, like, hypersonic, or was it supersonic? One of the two, by cutting no, missiles. it was the freefall bomb that had guided veins. Yeah, didn't they have to specifically design that thing to go slower so it didn't tear itself apart? I don't know. I just know it was not a... Well, they actually button. did have a smart bomb. It was uh, pigeon-guided. Oh yes, didn't they have an odd number of pigeons in that thing, so if one was being stupid, it could be overruled by the other two? I think it was just one pigeon, but still. Pigeon no, guidance. it was... The, I'm pretty sure, the according to the thought electrician anyways, and from the Wikipedia, there was three pigeons. And then you take an average of all three in order to figure out where the hell to send it. Well, the U.S. had... Flying bat napalm. Oh yes, the bat bomb. Wasn't that things... project get? It it was effective, but no, it worked. Didn't it burn down the hangar? Those things are getting stored in before they could actually be used. Uh, uh, yeah, it... it did. It did burn down a base, a building on base. So, yep. Yeah, it's like, well, it works, but it's dangerous. It's too dangerous to use. So, yep. Yeah. I thought they used it once in actual combat. I don't think they did. I think it was just a pipe, uh, prototype that, uh... Yeah, somebody can look it up. Alright. No electronics that ask to interact with a person is ever smart. It's just about, it's just as dumb as the operator. Yes, this is this is in fact true. And this referring to printers. Oh, well, those things are the spawn of the devil. Have you seen the meme where it's like somebody got it in my neighborhood got a new printer? It's like he printed it out because it was unsecured. I have become self-aware. Run. <laughs> yes, I am your printer. I have become self-aware. Run. <laughs> uh, you see, that's a that's a good prank. Because nobody got hurt, and uh, there was no destruction of property. Well, unless you count hijacking somebody's printer as destruction of property. 
well, it's, it, I guess it's technically his fault for not uh, securing it to his Wi-Fi network, but that is neither here nor there. I am not... Also, it was his decision to get rid of the printer then afterwards. Oh, yes. Hacking Wi-Fi is surprisingly easy. Not that we are promoting the idea of hacking. Not Never hack. Not maliciously. It's, yeah, still, you probably shouldn't do it. It's it's generally a bad idea. Okay, so now I just need the uh, the go juice for my diesels, and we'll be good to go. Oh, we got a alien with us. He may or may not be drunk. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Everything is fine. I should probably be careful with uh, Dish now. Don't worry about it, because Alien <laughs> and I are the ones to originated the uh, the Ox drinking game. Oh, oh, that's uh, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, let's let's, not, go, <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's not, not go there, guys. Alien, let's, let's not, not today. So for for all all um, what, what, what's the word? Um, all regard to your health. Do not play the game while I am on on co-host today, please. He's already a wee bit far in. All right. Well, I refuse to be an instigator, so I'm going to refuse from saying the the trigger words. Yeah. Let's just let's just drop yeah, it. Yes. No. No. That's a, that's a Wumba Chumba right there. Well, uh, what is it? Hail Hydrate! Yes. Down one drink, two more shall take its place. Hail Hydrate. Okay, you're, uh, you're a technical officer because we need you to listen to the hydrophone. Are you going to go after the battleships again? Is that the mission? Yeah, it's yep. it's what he's got orders to do. Um, they had more than the gamers, or just the Rodney class still. It's a Nelson class, or Nelson. The yeah, one with all it three was, forward. It was Nelson, then Rodney, then. I personally think the Nelson's uh, ship designs are very stupid. Honestly, yeah, the the firing arc makes no sense, but uh, it, Washington it, because made of Washington Navy. Because of how the turrets were positioned, it would basically force the ship to go full broadside in order to actually engage the enemy. Man, the Washington Naval Treaty produced some really interesting designs, and then you had the uh, the Tillmans. Oh, that utter class of meme ship postery. It it is like they are. This sick. is what happens when a politician tries to stick his fingers where they don't belong in something he doesn't understand. Yeah, it's that like... is the best way to summarize the Tillmans. And also the Vindicator, because it, I believe it was also designed by committee in Battletech. Maybe pop a save before you get close. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, uh... uh... Bunker, we've got full confidence in you. The trick is just getting in between all those sleeping ships. Quietly. Yup. Getting close. And then letting loose the load. And uh, I'm uh just gonna quick set my uh set my stuff to uh accept input from the TDC. Mm. 
That's right. You guys rest up. I need you got I need you uh fully rested for when we go to battle stations. Oh, we're we're in a storm. Shoot. Oh, we just That's good. We passed out of it, but it's a moonless night, so this is also good. Well, given your distance, it probably won't be night by the time you get there. No, yeah, you need to lurk for the day. Yeah, I'd go circle around outside for a little while, wait till the next nightfall. I mean, you can do it during the day. It's just... You're gonna risky. be a shit show? <laughs> I've done it. It's it's just yeah, it's a shit show and it's risky. Oh, it, dude, it's like eight p.m. Oh, you might be able to slip in. Eight p.m. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. The Can you see the just... weather forecast in this game? I forget. I set up a um, weather station in Bear Island. Yeah, you get a lot better forecast if you do that. Which I did, and I also did Luftwaffe reconnaissance for uh, for this. Yes, he is doing the Scapa Flow raid, which historically happened in October of 1939. So we're in January of 1940, so we're doing a, a bit late. So I'm shutting off the gyro compass. Okay, dive planes are at manual. Good. Make sure your bilge is empty. Yep. That... Wait, didn't the German submarines have a toilet where you had to be specialty trained to be able to flush the damn thing? Well, they, up until a certain point, yeah, it was risky to flush them underwater because I think there was an incident where somebody did exactly that. They were at a certain depth yeah, where the was, entire submarine it, it just was, fucking exploded. Fluid mechanics and head loss. Yep. And that is, it's an engineering term for, uh, I think it's for... Yeah, it's for pressure differential. Which, yeah, that was actually one of the first improvements I got for my sub. And more so just as for morale, but I was like, well, I guess I can grab that. But I just had the, the, the points to spare. I was like, I want an improvement. It's during the day. Yeah. About face. <laughs> Oh, come on. Go in there daytime. Okay, let's take a poll, chat. <laughs> do you want to see... Save before you do it. Do you guys want to see a daytime raid or a night raid? How ballsy does Bunk have to be? How 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 insane do we want him to be? Nighttime well, raids is handling Listen, and I drive a Charger Fez. 1A1 in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Because it's oh, in that game, you can actually melee, unlike in MWO. But okay, so far I see three votes for night. Yep. Look at, into the whiskey before you raid. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> it's like it's a night raid. Night raid it is. Okay. I. So you want me to be ballsy, but not super ballsy. I was thinking of, you know, the Arnold quote where he's, like, smoking his stove. He's like, I'm ballsy. Ha ha ha. Unlike you. <laughs> Have you guys seen that interview with him? Nope. It, it, it's, it's pretty funny. You should check it out. Okay, so we're gonna just... Stop and go 50. Just loiter there for a few. Downsize, it's got you pinned in an area where you can only fast forward so fast. Mm -hmm. 
The other thing about this raid too is I swear that the Nelson is or the the uh, Royal Oak is a little bugged because sometimes you can peg that thing perfectly with four perfectly good torps and serious damage each time. That thing will just sit there. It'll sink like much as as much as it'll go, but it won't classify as a kill. Huh. And sometimes you have to put like another four in there. Sometimes you can just sit there and empty an entire sub's worth of, of torps into it, and it'll never sink. So it has a tendency to be bugged out. Well, what I was planning on doing is if uh, the four fish spread I hit doesn't get it, just whip a fat 180, switch the TDC to apt computation mode, fire yep, the stir fish. With that. I've done that before. Historically, they got him with uh, four. He did a four, four torp salvo and then got out. Okay, we're going to surface just to get some fresh decks of wash, I think. Decks of wash increases uh, air quality, right? Because you've got the conning tower up above. Yeah, I just saw it pop back up, so you're clear. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, sometimes the best fun is in a closed circuit amongst your friends. Glad you had fun for six hours playing MWO. That's actually pretty sweet. We're just spinning in a circle with the current. Yeah. Yeah, the current is pretty strong here. I've noticed that. I've sat there before and just, like, watched my sub just go in circles. It, you could play the, you know, the do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-
So that way. And, the, and what does preheating mean in this context? Preheating means basically maintaining them, and I think actually like warming up the batteries because salt water, ocean, cold. You don't want the electronics and inertial guidance to freeze up. Ah. Because uh, it's amazing what uh, electromechanical computers can do for stuff like this. Honestly, the web, the computational development that came out of World War II is pretty impressive. As soon as we clear the nets, we're going to go to blue light and battle stations. At least the failure of these torpedoes isn't like onions. Something something Shrek joke here. We're going to start our creep. Schuster, get on the hydrophone. Thank you. I want you on the command station because I want you to, uh... Well, first you need to perform some maintenance, but I want this guy on... I want Nod on the, uh... Command station because he's the sapper. His torpedoes hit harder. You're going to be managing the engines. You're going to be on the observation scope. And you're going to be on the attack scope. Mm. Only error I see with that is if you um, take a leader off of his command station, you suffer a little bit of a less efficiency, where if you keep a leader on uh, the command station, you basically boost everybody else. Now, granted, you are hunting, because you're, you're wanting to fire off as much as you can, so in this case, yes, having multiple dudes on observation and attack periscope is good for queuing on multiple targets. <laughs> However, if you're going after singular stuff, yeah, it's usually just one well, of I've them. Two guys on... assisting the captain on the attack scope. I've got Hoffman on the uh, his command station. I've yeah, got yeah, that's Nod. that's that's more ideal. For a second, I thought you were gonna put uh, both your uh, off leader officers on uh, on your your scopes. It's like there are better pros and cons to doing that. But I see you also take the default set. You haven't added to your officer list yet. Uh, as soon as I get another reputation, I will add an officer. <laughs> We've got. If I stay at this speed submerged, I've got a day's worth of battery. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but at that point, it's just your ventilation, which. That's why I try to rush um, the ventilators or the scrubbers or whatever. I noticed that today, actually. I just kind of like calculated the difference in how quickly it can refill, but as well how much energy it takes. And I was like, wow, these things are fucking good. But they burn out really quickly. Oh, we found her. There she blows. I think historically, uh, Gunther Price stopped at about two kilometers, if not more, out, which is why they have the uh, the perk that you get for this mission being bullseye, just because, like, that's, I guess, for the safety of everything, he tried to fire from as far away as possible, so he 
turn away and get out. But as well, from what I remember reading about the actual event, um, he had changed his attack route last second where Durnitz wanted a completely different route. And he was just like, no, I'm going to go a different way. So she is the Royal Oak. I need to figure out what range she's at. Because we've stopped. Force of these 101 degrees, starboard bow. Good news is she's not moving, so you have already got her velocity. Yeah, I know. Zero. 1777, zero, 107 degrees, was it, to starboard bow? Worst comes to worst, you can always switch to magnetic too. How do you do that? It's so when you when you load them, you know how it says A Z. There's a little box. You click that, it'll switch to M Z. That means magnetic. So that so goes from the Im impact piston to magnetic. I'll show you when you go to fire. So that was like 97 degrees. Starboard bow. If you're missing. The correct button the portion. Uh well we've got our and also we're gonna set to maximum speed. Fire our fish as fast as we can. TDC data is locked in. I'm probably going to be heading off to bed. I've just realized it's like 10 at night. I'm going to have yeah. him perform maintenance on tube 1. Also, I would make your torps go as slow as they can because that will give you more time to turn around and escape. How much... So... Like the absolute bare minimum speed... It's 56. It's 56, which is like, how many kph is it? I don't speak anything but freedom units. Sorry. Me neither. So I'm Damn. just gonna have it. I'm just gonna have the fish fly as fast as they possibly can. Mm. Would you say about a four degree spread would be good? Mm, that's a lot. Point three degree spread. What's the depth of a Nelson class? Her draft is like ten meters. Um, put it at about one five to two. It's about what I put it at last time. Yeah, we want them to explode deep. Yeah, deeper the better, so you can get more water coming in. Well, I don't know how. I can't see how high she's riding in the water. So. Not very. Those fuckers don't pop up very much, as far as like the main main deck. I mean, the citadel is one thing, but from what I remember the last couple days of playing this yeah they don't sit very high at all alright so you know how it says uh, MZ and all that other stuff and yep that's how you can switch them to magnetic and uh, impact pistol alright Los there you go. There you are. I was going to say. <laughs> you had a core set like, directly for it. 
We fired our torpedoes. Now let's drive straight at it slowly. We will be in the battering ram. Jeeves. And I also just switched our torpedo data computer to aft mode, just in oh, case. Don't worry about it. Oh, those look good. Yep. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf 10 Uhr. Boom. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Boom. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Schwere Schäden Boom. am Rumpf. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Oh, she's losing health, man. Four good hits. Minimale Schäden. Minimal damage. The hell, man. Minimale Schäden. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf... Probably prep that last one since you turn around pretty quick, like. So you're saying I should flood the uh, aft tube? Just in case. I'd shoot it anyway. Because, like I said, this thing is notoriously just does not want to fucking sink in this game. Gonna wait until I shoot. I think he's waiting until he turns around so his data isn't as oh. too far off. Yeah. Dope, as we would call it in the army. It's a uh, data of previous engagement. Uh, well, the data isn't really compatible anyway because. Uh... Yeah, it was a four torp spread. And it's also the incompatible type, but I'm just. Mashing the button, away she goes. Oh Fuck shit! It. <laughs> it happens. A torpedo randomly flying off into the darkness and exploding into nothing. Well, it, are, Alien, is her, if you're her still... HP is going down. Yeah, it's slow rolling. Alien, if you're still around, that's why you do. Um, that's why you do maintenance. Also, Gordon's gone. That was another person who was curious why you do maintenance, but it's how it exploded out there in the distance. That's why you do maintenance on a torpedo. Oh, shoot. Load the torpedoes, damn it. Load much quicker. That's, he's on damage control. He's not even doing uh, torps right now. You'll have to... Uh, Click out of your uh, firing screen. Okay, what do I do to make him not do any more damage control command? Go out of your uh, map real quick. And then go into your sub. Yeah, I'm still trying to... F I'm still figuring out the in in intricacies of this game, so... All, all good, man. I've got about 100 hours into it. Um, yep, scroll over to your firing area and have them load them up. Should I load another aft tube, or...? I'd have them load the entire sub, honestly. You're completely empty right now. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, another way you can get him to get off of it is double click him and then just like have him move. It'll have him jump off of his station and then he should carry out any other orders. So I'm leave that position.
There we go. Now we now we got it. Get the lead out. Nod. Okay. Let's start with the aft torpedo. Well, that's the one that's immediately in bear, so... Fine. Oh, wait, did it sink? Yeah, I believe it did. I see wreckage, but you're going to have to back up to confirm it, because your people can't see. No, it should have registered, because your listening officer should have heard it go down. You could always just, you know, surface the boat. You know, standard procedure. <laughs> no, 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 no. Be taken prisoner. I'd much rather not. <laughs> so there's a whole ordeal where um, it was like a U.S. admiral or a captain or something like that decided he wanted to capture a U-boat, a fully intact U-boat. And he did exactly that. And he actually got into some trouble for it because it was this whole publicized event and everything. And... Somehow, miraculously, the Germans never caught wind that uh, the U.S. had captured a fully intact submarine. They thought it was destroyed, but he gets back and commands like, You oh. dumb fuck. Why would you ever, like, make it public that you just captured those? You know how hard we had to work to get the Enigma codes? And if they would have figured out that those had been compromised because you wanted to make a publicity stunt, <laughs> like how much work we would have had to do to unfuck that situation. I'm just going to make a quick check dead ahead. I don't see anything. Go to red real quick. You'll get more uh, brightness out of everything. Uh, I don't think she's out there. I think she went under. Should have gotten credit for it. Check the message log. Well, his thing up top where it says he needs to send a transmission, it would also say that he sunk the Royal Oak. Click on the the, the Royal Oak button real quick where it's, it's all green and stuff. You know, you got the little icon. Yep. Click on the ship itself. If you can. I can't. I guess the little icon's in the way. Weird. There you go. Uh, it's not quite under yet. I'm just going to send some more fish that way. Just for good measure. Yeah, I was going to say, pin that bitch with one more fucking fish and you should be able to sink her. Or it's bugged. Like I said, it's either notoriously bugged or sometimes you have to fire like an unnecessary amount of torps. But in the usual cases, it's bugged, which is a frustration about this level. 94 degrees to starboard. Zero. Let me just quick get our range. Fifteen thirty six. And what else are we missing? Speed. Zero. Yeah, I don't understand. Also, magnetic. No, don't try magnetic. Yeah, at this point, you definitely want impact. Yep, impact. Oh, 
Also, I should note I have not played this game before. Two fish I've away, watched... hot straight and normal. I watched uh, like two or three YouTubers play it for a couple of years, and then like I don't know, January, I finally picked it up. I was like, I want a new game, and I saw it on my Steam thing, and I was like, you both, that looks like fun. You watch Wolfpack? Yeah, yo, he's exactly what I found uh, this through. I think he is a good streamer. He is. He does not have an annoying voice. He's mm. occasionally funny. And then the way he does is, um... Okay, so I'm being pinged by Sonar. I think I should probably hug the bottom and play dead, right? Yeah, that's a good call. You got some distance yet. If they start dropping immediately on you, then you can get out of there. No, playing dead isn't going to work because there's they haven't dropped anything on you. So I would uh, creep slowly along the bottom as close as you can. And start meandering your way eastwards. Yeah, head right back the way you came. Because if you head south, you're going to go straight into their mines. Yep. And you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, mines and submarines te have a tendency to not mix very well. I've never been able to go through the other two passages. I've always hit a mine. I think I hear water bombs. Your dude would be telling you. All right. Yep, now you got the kill. Yay. So I'm going to go to like 14 meters. Look, Fez, this is not... This is a no bullshit stream. and This is family fucking friendly. You understand? <laughs> I, um... It is risky to fast forward through this area. Yeah. I'm gonna give us, like, more... I think I should go down to 20. Careful. This is about as far as you're gonna be able to get. There are some places where it's, like, barely 19. Well, this is, like, 18, so I'm gonna go... 15. Do they have a, uh... Uh, what do they call those depth charts for Scapa Flow? You also have a um, a depth finder on your sub too that you can walk over and ping, and it'll yeah, but doesn't that. that make noise? Yeah, the... it, it makes a singular ping. Yeah, the echo sounder. I do not like that rattling. It's because you're scraping against the bottom. I'd go up maybe a meter if you can. Uh, if you go pretty slow, will it will it still damage the boat if you're scraping the bottom, or is it just making noise? Um, just really annoying, and it slows you down. If you hit it at a high rate of speed, then yeah, I've hit the ground where. Oh, there we go. We just is. got done. Go. Yeah. Well, and the benefit too is that since you stirred the hornet's nest. Um... Oh shoot. I have my periscope up. How do I get my periscope down? <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. Oh, boy. They've got searchlights up and everything. Fuck. Like I was going to say, that was because you kicked the hornet's nest. Um, there's going to be so much sound from all their props that you might be able to get away with just a light take more speed over the just one. I was gonna say about two or three yachts. Yeah. Whatever a third whatever a third will give you. Well he's uh running at a third now. If he runs at the second one he might be able to be okay. So should I increase speed or I'd make about two to three knots. Yeah, try your try your second setting. For a little bit, if they come close, then drop back to one. Yeah, forward two.
You guys hearing the clicking of my controller at all? Not really. Okay. Hello, toilet. Have you obliterated anything? An obliterator of toilets is here. An obliterator of toilets has arrived and is present. Let's see if I can go down to 10. Ten's periscope depth. No, eight what is periscope also, depth. What you could do is you could also surface and you could try to shoot it out on the surface with your deck gun. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I know I'm you'd, insane. I know I'm... blown to pieces before he even got a crew onto his fucking deck gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again, scraping the bottom. You know, honestly, I'm okay with scraping the bottom. While you are, uh, doing this bunk, I should tell you that I am broadcasting to you live from my gaming computer. I did a brain transplant on a video card, so my gaming machine is back up and working. Nice. While the RMA is in progress. Oh, they're, uh, I think one of them's on top of me. Yep. Since I'm scraping the bottom, should I play dead for a second? No. Have they dropped anything? Yeah, they have been. I would keep creeping along, and I would also, if you've got a depth chart, I would take a look at that, and I would figure out what the deepest area of the channel is leading out. Also, why is your meat going crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, man. Look, that. That's get your boat. meat under control, <laughs> or you're gonna alert the destroyers, alright? Oh yeah, toilet, you were saying they're, uh, they're messing around with the water. Don't mess with the agua! Don't mess with the agua! I don't like this, boss man. Let me scare, boss man. Well, you know. Oh god. Oh yeah, they're oh. dropping right on you. So should I, should I play dead? Or you could, uh... Or you could actually be dead. Gun it. Forward. Oh, oh might... this, this is not gonna go well. This is gonna go very, very poorly. <laughs> this is gonna be not optimal. None I mean, of... it's gonna be optimal for the comedy option, but you know. I feel like oh no! Are... Oh no! Oh, that one is like right on top of me. Oh look at that! Oh, oh my goodness! I feel like none of them are exploding though. That one just uh, did. <laughs> oh my. They're not leaking, that's the good news. Well, would you rather be leaking or exploding? Leaking? You haven't blown up yet. Oh, there it is. Now he's got leaks. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. That's gonna leave a mark. Ooh, Hattie hey, got injured. Three crewmen are injured. Oof. I think your dignity's taking a beating, too, with this one. Ooh, yeah. and if your radio man is injured, you're fucked, because he's your medic. Yeah, he is. You're fucked, dude. I've got four leaks, seven broken things. Well. I I've tried to soldier on. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Here we go. I think I still have this ability. Let's look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um, Log out. Oh, we're we're not even moving. We've got no movement. This is literally toss boot right now. Yep. <sighs> Man. You're dead. Yep. Should I just accept it or should I save scum again? Well, let's uh, see what the state of your inside is before you uh, make that decision. Let's just take a look inside this U boat. Let the let chat see what's going on inside of a sinking U boat. So that's um, half the fun of this game, just to see the chaos. We've yeah. got water up to chest height in compartments. We've got three dead men. I don't say they're dead yet, but they are injured. Oh man, they fucked up your conning tower, but good. I think you rammed them. Oh yeah, that um, depth charge fucking blew your shit to pieces. Yep. One of the two. Uh, Oof. That was uh, that was rough. <laughs> they got their revenge. Yep. Well played, you Tommy bastards. Well played. I think I'm going to take the one more crack at this, and uh, I think it's going to be a wrap, because... Das U-Boot was zerstören. Ja, the U-Boot was zerstören. And what's more embarrassing is you got knocked by a Corvette. Those things aren't even worth the torpedo. Yeah. Very dishonorable. Game for display. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Wait, what? Shame for display. <laughs> oh yes, I know. I know exactly what you were talking about. It took a second. Yeah. Okay, so we've got tech, technical officer. We're on manual dive planes. Yep. Yep. We we straight. We ready. First off, I'm gonna... I'm gonna load my... Uh, let's see which torpedoes I have in my tubes. Okay. So we've got all T1s. Which is good. Mm. 
Oh, I forgot to tell you guys this, but uh, I'm actually I actually have a model of a U96 as she appeared in the movie DOS Boot. I built it uh, over Christmas season. Nice. I do like that you get to actually uh, Captain U96 in this game. I do too. I haven't done it yet, but yeah, what Not I did either. was uh, I gave her. It, it she's film ac she's accurate to how she was in the film. If I could get a uh, another Type Seven C model in the same scale, I'd have her done up as she appeared. You know how she would have appeared historically on her Oak Leaves Patrol with the laughing sawfish and the raging bull. And uh, the U boat fleet had some really cool logos, like U five five two, the rotor tefl. That was cool. Have you guys also seen any of the Luftwaffe squadron insignia? Nah. Nope. Well, uh, I know for one of the dive bomber squadrons on the side, like by the engine housing, they painted like a a snake, like a snake that stretched from like the cockpit all the way to the engine exhaust. I I played a lot of War Thunder, and I had acts I could uh, make. Uh, they had some pretty interesting, historically accurate camouflages that you could get for, like, certain achievements and throwing money at it. It was fun time, but then they added stuff and it was just grind. I mean, it's War is a fun game, but way. it's like... I left it because it was like, it wasn't becoming fun for me anymore. That's well, why... this is why I don't play mech while you're online, because you basically either have to pay to win, or you have to grind and grind and grind to get anything worthwhile, and I'm not interested in that. Well, uh, we were messing around in a private lobby earlier today, and it was fun, because we were just doing dumb things. I feel like the the throw money at it thing is just a common issue in MMOs in general, where it's they they've made it so broadly an option for everything that it's just taken the fun out of playing them at this point. Well, Not really, there are some yeah. that are still out there that it's like you that just doesn't doesn't happen anymore, which is great. Like you know, Foxhole for example, there's no fucking pay to win that game, so I'll play it. But stuff like. Yeah, stuff like, you know, a lot of the mobile games, for example, everything's got some pay-to-win feature. You know, like fucking EVE Online, for example, there was so much real-world money involved in it that it just was like, eh. You know they hired an economist? Did they really? Yep. Who hired an economist? The guys that made EVE Online. Well, wasn't there an incident where it caused, like, actual real-world financial repercussions? Oh, it's done that several times. Yeah. Isn't there, like, an actual going exchange rate between it, the in-game currency of EVE and, uh, like, actual U.S. dollars? I believe something like that exists, yeah. 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 If I'm not mistaken, yeah, you can damn near make Eve Online a real job. <laughs> Just fucking weird. Yep, that is kind of weird. Also, uh, I think it's interesting, I th also scary, that people have figured out the math to convert a C-bill to United States dollars. <laughs> That's just weird. I mean, not weird. It's cool, but it's like, wow. I want to go up to the person and who did that, and it's like, hey, we appreciate your work, but, uh, things all right at home? Well, maybe, maybe they're actually, the maybe they're just very all right at home, they've never had a problem in their life, so it just got time to calculate that kind of shit, I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's true. So, 
So we're just uh, loggering off uh, the entrance to the port. I should probably submerge a little bit. Just to... Oh, hey, that's a good idea. Because uh, I don't want to be spotted by any aerial patrols. What's the worst that can happen aside from a strafing run or maybe some bombs or depth charges thrown at you? You, know, you might be able to shoot him down. Well, last week when we played, uh, some things kind of happened. <laughs> Bunk, would you like to tell him what happened? Um, I learned a valuable lesson the hard way. Submerge. Oh. <laughs> and I quote, oh, they spotted me. <laughs> it, 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 it's like this, you know, the Meet the Sniper video where he's like, I think his mate saw me. Yes, yes he did. <laughs> yep. Well, and that's, that's, again, that's a, a danger to always um, speeding up so much. You gotta definitely be very quick to react to things. Otherwise, you'll get blown up. Or your shit will, like, decide to go straight through a wall that hasn't spawned yet, and then it'll spawn, and then you're suddenly just floating on top of a dock, no longer actually floating. Somehow you're just like, hey, we decided to jump up onto the ground. We have achieved levitation in this submarine. We can get out of the water without assistance. <laughs> well, uh, have you seen the meme of the Australian submarine where it's like levitating above the water upside down? <laughs> I always like to laugh. It's let's do the time warp again. I don't get that one. Let's not, let's not, let's not. It's a Rocky Horror Picture Show reference. I, I've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. Gotcha. gotcha. Do yourself a favor and watch it. Tim oh. Curry is amazing. Yeah, it's it's a cult classic for a reason. It's so cringe that it's great. Like I say that in the most loving way possible. Time to charge the batteries. Gotta be moving to do that, my dude. Yep, I'm just moving myself away. I just... Indeed. Fucketh thy calm star. Wait. Or, you know, end up having a visit from some strange weirdos completely clad in white. And either fuck Comstar or they, uh... You, you dare mock really, the Order of Blessed Blake? They, they might show up and make your life hell. I mean, just, just tread carefully when you're using that kind of language is all I'm saying. I mean, how many times have we had to tell Sonar and the Ox that, you know, all these problems we keep having with Comstar might have something to do with the fact that he keeps refusing to pay the bills? Yes, uh, payeth thy bills, or uh, Space AT&T sends the, uh, the White Mechs, or, uh, heaven forbid, the Vandenberg White Wings. Render a credite... 2-0, oh, fucko. No, it's Red A Creditory 2-0, oh, fucko. That, 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 that part. Yeah. Alright, batteries are almost, uh, gyro compass off. Blue lighting on. Speed one. Get up, get up. 
I actually need to back out because my battery isn't fully charged, and I do not want to make this raid on an empty on a battery that isn't full. Hmm. How charged is it? We've got about an hour left until it's fully charged. Okay, batteries are full. Time to give them the yeet, boys! And free some souls, and launch some torpedoes, and blow some fucking holes in the side of the Royal Oak. I don't think that's how the lyrics go. They fucking do now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me the yeet, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get wanna lost in your rocket in a road. fucking hole and sleep for days. Oh wait, see, we're changing them again. Press F to doubt. <laughs> you, you you got your memes mixed up there, my man. It's press X to doubt. <laughs> Press F to say fuck you to Bunker. So this whole carrier command thing, does anybody in the AUX actually play that? Um, yeah, actually. It's part of where we got the whole meth weasels thing from, actually. Carrier command? Yes. I thought that was, uh, nebulous. I'm fairly certain the whole meth weasel thing was span or spawned off of carrier command. Well, alrighty then. Yep. Because, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, the Ox's um, team, or one of their teams, the Meth Weasels, back when they, uh, one of the first times they streamed that, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Yep. Yeah, Toilet's right. It was the first appearance was in command, Carrier Command, yes. And if I'm not mistaken, the Ox actually pulled a surprise victory in said fight. <laughs> it needs to like be our rallying cry having apparently lost the batch all a couple weeks back we need to go into carrier command with some new renewed vigor well there was more than one uh, carrier command one. I know there was one, yeah, where the Ox like, did have a team coming forth, but I know there was one of the original ones that the Ox actually had a surprise win. And I think it had something to do with um, the BPL getting beached and not able to move their... Uh, their ship their carrier at all yeah their ship was just stuck for the entirety of the game and it was like a last second i think the ox grabbed one final fucking uh capture point and basically turned the tide
feindlicher Zerstörer auf 12 Uhr. Maybe get a filter for your tap. I don't like this. Uh, you can squeeze in between them. It's dark enough. Yeah, I know, but I don't want them to hear me is the thing. You're going at one. They're not going to hear you. Dude, I, I don't want to take that chance. <laughs> you might hear it as he rams them with his conning tower, kind of like last time. <laughs> I heard, oh, I just heard the combo crackle. Yep, that thing just twitched. Oh, they see you. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf 12 Uhr. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf God. 9 Uhr. Oh, there she Are is. You? I think Are that's you? her. Are you submerged? I am indeed submerged. Okay, <laughs> just making sure that's a c consistent issue we run into. I've gone all engines stop in the hopes that they can't hear me. Meanwhile, they're dropping a shitload of pep charges on you. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> So what you're saying, toilet, is somebody obliterated your water. Where the hell is this stinking battleship? Probably closer to the green dot. Give me the yeet boys and free my soul. I want to get tossed in a fucking hole and sleep for days. Oh, these two destroyers or cruisers collided with each other. I saw them collide. That's so funny. You are substantially fucked, son. I don't know. He's kind of slipping away from the mess and they're not dropping shit right on top of him. Yeah. Like dead, might that spot to, helped. He might want to slip right over there and get his kill yet. Oops, oh, somebody's gonna go fuck around. When the whole of Scapa Flow ran out of depth charges looking for one submarine. That'd be funny. Two oh, shit, you're man. fucked. Yep. Good night. Reload. <laughs> Last try. I got it last time, so I know it can be done. <laughs> it's just making the escape. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wacker, could you break out the uh, the old man voice and just rant Why? about the Moon Kaiser? Why? <laughs> we we were in our boat and we were we were going to to find some bad people and 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 this captain who was a real he was a real dumbass his name was blanker or something like that he he rammed several destroyers and they blew us up and we died several times and it was 
<laughs> it was not a good experience. That was beautiful. Thank you. I, I I need my my pills again. No, I don't want the pill. All right. And for the record, that is not Grandpa Tex. That's Grandpa Whacker. I was doing that when Tex was in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than Tex. I'm pretty fucking certain of that. Well, I remember in one of the credits, I think it was the Avo Toasties and Meat Space Cookery that he said in the credits it was technical Tex parentheses technically a millennial. <laughs> yeah. I am a Gen X. When I was a kid, they still made submarines out of wood. Yeah, we 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 used to we used to go out and incorporate mud and or water and dirt to make mud, and we were the first team to do that, and it was glorious. We made a what it, it was uh it was made out of there's clay, and we went to the moon, and, and clay submarine. Dude, you sound like you're about to blow a gasket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna recommend you not do that. I will blow several gaskets, thank you. Well, you see, you need to blow several gaskets in order to call yourself so even try it. Don't even try it, Bunker. Oh, he tried it. <laughs> My dignity is already in shambles. It can't get much worse than the previous, what, two or three raids? You just don't have the old man voice thing. Yeah, no, I don't. You have the voice of youth. Bless him. You damn children! Is this... The sun hath risen? Or is it... Pretty. Praise the sun. <laughs> Praise Zorg. Uh, oh, we have definitely praised Zorg several times on this stream. Oh yes, we have. Every torpedo leak, every torpedo hit, every uh, broken component, every leak, every injury is you praise Zorg. But we do not praise Poseidon because he's been a dick. He keeps trying to infiltrate the submarine. It, it's like, we get it, man. You like to swim, but can you please uh, not? Well, yeah, that's the thing, is if a Submariner wanted to swim, obviously they don't have them now, but you could just join a SEAL team. So the, we have them now, so I guess my, my language wasn't correct there. So it's like in the context of U-Boat, we don't have SEAL teams yet. But, you know, if, if these dudes wanted to swim, they would just, you know, be divers. Well, have you guys seen Attack Force Z? No. Old Mel Gibson movie. It was about uh, some commandos who were tasked to uh, save somebody who held a secret that could turn the tide of the war. Good movie. Highly recommend. It is five minutes to eleven. Indeed. Why don't you get this damn boat in gear, son? I need to wait for the sun to set. The sun is evil. Yes.
So I think we've determined that the stealth approach might work, but for the sake of hilarity, maybe just try a fucking speedboat run full surface just at at flank speed run in at the speed of yeet and see how far you can go <laughs> all right the sun is setting all of my officers are resting which is just where i want them Maybe pop a save after you clear the uh, subnets so you don't have to yeah. do the whole reset again. After. How bad is it that we're actually recommending where he saves so that he can <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is... Can't see shit. No. Not even any moonlight to guide the way. Hmm. <sighs> Oh my. Blue light. All right now that you made your save. Full I just send surface attack. <laughs> I, 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 no, we're uh we're doing sneaky. <laughs> yeah. The bunker version of sneaky. <laughs> bunker version of sneaky is basically on the surface, and he's got that yodeler guy that you linked to earlier with a bullhorn out there announcing your presence to everyone. Yeah, I told him that we need to make a mod that it's a Steiner uh, assault squad or scout lance, whatever. Um, he needs an atlas, a Steiner atlas for his conning tower emblem thing for his U-boat. That would be hilarious. Or somebody just mods in an atlas that just like does the breaststroke all the way up to the battleship. <laughs> just punches it, rips into it with an AC-20. <laughs> that honestly would be glorious. Well, I was going to say last time, third time's a charm, but attempt four, the, let's let's get it. Oh, kitten's awake. She is coiling up to strike at the elder cat. It's about to get real in the living room. I think we just had a duty change. I think the night shift just took their positions.
Very, very quiet. I'm hunting battleships. <laughs> yes, be very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. I'm hunting English. <laughs> Please don't hear me. Watch this fucking uh, lighthouse goes over, puts the light directly at your periscope, makes just the slightest little glint, everybody sees you. That would suck so much ass. <laughs> You still have not done the one thing that I suggested you do earlier. Oh, did they hear me? No. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's it's just this one little angry frigate or destroyer. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just going around and around. That there's a cruiser. Yeah. She's a heftier lass. She thick. Uh, technically, if we were doing this as is it Germans, I believe, uh, Warships were male. Well, the Bismarck was. I'm pretty sure all ships were male. No, all ships are ladies. But he's attacking British. Not in German, though. Are yeah, no. I think the no the Bismarck was the only one that was male. That's why they believe that she was cursed. I mean, he that he was cursed because... Wrong. The German Navy referred to his ships as he, which was the German tradition to name ships in a masculine manner. Hmm. Well, I stand corrected. Learn something new every day. I'm, like, sneaking through the ranks of the British home fleet. That's basically what Gunther Price did. Yep. They haven't found me. Which is not gonna be. Oh, there you are. I'm just gonna maneuver into a better position. I'm gonna laugh when you run aground up there. <laughs> Don't get too close. You need to make sure your shit can arm. We are at... Uh... You're good. Yeah, 810 at the end of your thing. That's more than enough. Go to red. Red. The Oz is slowing down and. No, we're at a stop, man. The Oz is floating. It's like your periscope is like half frozen. That's because I haven't moved it. Trying to figure out where it eat, where the Royal Oak is, so I can put eyes on. I will BRB one second. Okay, okay. Why can't my periscope see the damn thing? Let's 
should be like f like 10 degrees off port bow at least. Well, in any case, I'm going to compute torpedo solution. My scope just bug or something? I don't know. Because why can't I see out of it? I don't need it because I need I have the TDC, but still, it's kind of infuriating. Yeah, you should at least be able to get a lock on the fucking thing. One twenty-one off starboard. at range to maximum speed. She's at zero. I just need to figure out her range to me. Well, that does it. One, one, four, zero. Well, the solution looks as good as it's going to be. And here is a classic case of shot in the dark. One, the point three degree spread was a really tight spread last time. I'm going to go for like a 1.3 to 1.5 degree oh. spread. Four fish away, hot, straight, and normal. Those look good. Boom. Oh, and those look like they hit in the powder mags, too. Boom. Right underneath the turrets, look. Boom. Four good hits for a blind fire. So I'm gonna switch to, switch to aft torpedo in about face and get out of here.
All right, I'm back. Did he blow up yet? Nope. Nope, but four fish hit right in the bow section, like by number two and three turret. <laughs> I hear a large group of ships. It is probably the convoy. Yeah, that's clearly what it is. Well, it'll tell you the difference between a convoy and warships. One three six zero, okay. We are approximately ninety four degrees off starboard bow. I think one of my favorite things to have happen on accident, you fire a torpedo and then you have an escort ship that's like gets right in the way of it. And you just have, <laughs> have that random strike on something you didn't even aim at just because it just perfectly got in the way. <laughs> like a Corvette, like just swing around, get in the way of a shot that I put to like finish something off and it explodes. And I'm like, well, you weren't who I was hoping to sink, but you're another sunken ship. Your death was not necessary, but great. It is appreciated. appreciated. Yes. All right, we're loading up our tubes. Haha, <laughs> tube. Uh oh, indeed. Another little whoopsie diggles. This one isn't too bad, you've only got one of each. Oh, look at that. It's manageable. He's not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'll be stone dead in a moment. Somebody's running in place. Your bulkhead's closed. Oh, that's open. Never mind. They're just running in place randomly. No, oh, they got him finally. Yeah. Ugh.
Schaden repariert. Kapitän? Oh, your leak's finished. That's good. We're gonna fix up our infirm guy and our mechanic is gonna fix up the uh, our electric engines. Should I increase speed? Hmm. Might they be seem to have caused it. such a stir over there that they aren't following me. Might as well maintain course and heading and speed. If they don't know where you're at, don't oh, wait, risk is the Royal drawing not attention. Sunk? No. So you're saying I have to go back one. through that to sink the damn thing? Unfortunately. What broke? What frickin' broke? Uh, they haven't fixed um, your first problem yet. Why is your radio man loading your torpedoes? He's not. He was for a second. What just happened? Um. We drown. A sailor? Yeah, this is this is not going well. Uh, a sailor drowned. Uh, why don't we just give Chad a peek inside of what's going on? So apparently somebody has drowned. Yep. Yep. Yeah, things are looking grim. I think that the water's supposed to be outside Side of, of the, the boat. Yep. Well, we'll try this again next week. Or I'll try it again on my own time. But, uh, I'll tell you guys the results. If I do, I can try it on my own time, or you guys can catch it in real time off stream, so that way you can verify and witness. Definitely not easy. Nope. Getting in is the easy part. Getting, getting out is out the hard out. part. Well, uh, that concludes the stream. Uh, thank you for joining us on this journey. And uh, stay safe, be good, and uh, keep your water outside of your boats. Stay weird. Words to live by. Anything you want to add, Wacker? Oh, yes. I remember this one time many years ago. I was. You're supposed to cut me off in the middle of that. Oh. <laughs> nah. We, we, we want to hear uh, Grandpa Vulcan finish his rant. <laughs> oh. Well, the time when we took a wooden submarine to the moon. Kill the stream. Just kill it for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I messed it up. Well, you guys have a good rest of your night. Everybody else watching, have a good rest of your night. Hope, hope you have a good day tomorrow. Peace.